I love Haversham County. I love the kids, um, but this county in particular, you know, they, when, they, when we got the phone call that, that you all wanted to use Martina the Beautiful Cockroach last year to launch this one book, Haversham, I was so excited. I was born in Cuba. Yo hablo español, yo nací en Cuba, but I grew up in Georgia, girl. So it was, I felt twice blessed because I'm an immigrant, but I'm also become a part, very much a part of the South that I love deeply. And to find that a small town in the South decided to pick the Cuban Southern girl, you know, as the author for, the, for uh, their first book, it was just wonderful. And, and I've, I've really loved the people I've met here uh, in this, with this project who are committed, truly committed, their monies, their time, their energies, to making reading an essential part of families. This campaign is important because reading is the one thing no one can take away from you. Once you have learned to read, truly read with good comprehension, and I know this for a fact, you could travel, you could live through a revolution, imagine that. You could uh, have everything lost in a flood. You could be uh, destitute and unable to pay for education but you can go to the library, you can be an autodidact, you can teach yourself, you can go on the internet. So long as you can read, the world, its histories, its sciences, its wonders are open to you forever. Well, you know, it's always wonderful um, when I go to a community where I see that this merging of cultures is happening because I'm not a politically correct person. I'm someone who believes that truth liberates. It's not easy for cultures who don't know one another to come together. Sometimes there are magical, good, powerful moments. Other times there, there's mistrust and misunderstanding. But as we learn one another's stories, we start to learn about each other's families and the ways we do things and the ways that we don't do things. There isn't anything in this world that makes you understand the other like learning their story. I have a 92-year-old father who is an unrepentant bibliophile who loves reading and will read the back of an iodine bottle if there's nothing left in the house to read. But he did not learn to read until he was 14. And my sister and I, we osmose that love of reading from him. When I come to communities where I see a lot of Latin children, and many of them are trying to learn another language and learn to acquire not just the language, but then to acquire it in written form as well, which is difficult. I know that I can bring something to them. I can say, I know. Yo sé exactamente lo que estás sintiendo. Cuando yo vine a este país, yo no hablaba ni papa de inglés. And then I had to learn the English. And the English, she was really hard. Let me tell you, peoples. In fact, after a while, I started speaking Spanish with a southern accent. So when I meet these kids, and I, we start telling stories, and I see this community that is trying so hard to create community through stories, and, and create strong readers within their communities. You know, I, it's, it's, it's remarkable. One book Haversham, and a marvelous book it is. Three Hens and a Peacock, written by Lester Laminick, a fabulous author, and illustrated by Henry Cole, equally exciting. Henry, you love his illustrations, they're brilliant. So a wonderful story with fabulous pictures. What more could you ask for? I'll tell you what we could ask for. That wherever you see this book, this book, doctor's office, restaurant, church, synagogue, gas station. You stop, you add your name to the list, and you read it. You read it to a child, you read it to yourself, read it to the Waffle House waitress, they get bored. Read it and pass it on. One book Haversham, one community reading together. Hot dog or hot tamales.